Hi guys, welcome back to How To Today. Um, today I have kind of like a lip tutorial. I show you three ways, or I think, ow, three ways of how to do your lips. I do lip liner and the gloss technique, which is like very trendy. It's kind of like an everyday kind of thing um, that people are doing right now. And if you don't play with it, with it. <laughs> If you just want to see how to do it and how to have like a slight overline because I do overline my lips when I put lip products on um, but not way too intense that you're like whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, you know, just continue watching for this video I also have um, how to do lip liner and liquid lipsticks I'm using the Kylie liquid lipsticks um, so if you have those and you want to learn how to use them and how to like, you know, get the technique and do it and clean up your lip just in case you have a bit of a mistake because I do, I mean, we're not perfect <laughs> Um, but yeah, I have those two, and then the lips that I have on right now is like more of an overlined lip, like, you know, it's not subtle, it's overlined. Um, and I also wear gloss, and I do kind of like an, a baby ombre. It's not an intense ombre, but yeah, it's kind of like a little bit of an ombre. And I'll show you how to do that <laughs> with the Dior Lip Maximizer Lip Gloss. So, um, if you want to learn how to do any of these lip techniques, these three lip techniques, or you're just curious as to how I do my lips and different types of things, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do that I didn't really show because I did all of my makeup, and yeah, sorry, my ears are so red, I just finished blow drying my hair. I'm really hot, <laughs> so sorry. Um, I like to put lip balm right at the beginning when I'm doing like my priming for the skin, and I put my lip balm then, so when it gets to lips, my lips aren't dry and chapped or whatever, and I can just apply whatever I want and my lips are like nice and hydrated and smooth on top of it this has SPF 15 so it protects against the sun underneath my liquid lips now that that's out of the way um I'm kind of blindish right now because I don't have my glasses I can't really see so I'm just trusting that I'm in focus um well, I'm going to show you one um way of doing your lips which is the lip liner and gloss type of way it's very trendy right now um a lot of people like to use it, so I'm just going to show you how I like to do mine. I slightly overline my lips, um, and the products I'm going to be using today for that is going to be a drugstore and a high-end combo. Um, I'm, I'll be using the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liner, well, Intense Auto Stay Auto Liner, in the shade 314 Non-Stop Nude, and I really like this nude combo, so. Now that I am really up close and personal, I'm going to just take you know these are the um, twisty toppy ones <laughs> so I'm just gonna like you know twist a little bit up my I'm gonna twist a little bit up and then what I like to do is I'm going to show you the best as I can what I like to do is essentially I see this is my natural lip line right here I'll just mark it on one side and I'll show you how I overline it on the other side so This is where my natural lip line would kind of fall. I did it very, like, you know, quick, not precise. And how I like to overline is just go slightly over the pink edge, like the lip line, um, where I still have, like, you know, my lip kind of, like, pout. Like, I, I like to call it, like, my lip fat. Um, because if you see my lip, it's still, like, I still have, like, a lip bump here. So it looks kind of natural if I overline it right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I can't talk and show you how to do this at the same time, so I'm going to just trace it kind of like over the top and then completely like join it with my natural lip line here it's kind of like a merge let me show you that's how it kind of looks so I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So now I like to look at myself straight and see if there's like relax my lips and see if there are any like, you know, lines that are a little bit wonky or um, anything that I need to even out. I like to do that right now. And um, I've just lined my bottom lip line, so I've kind of like evened out the top lip. I still haven't finished them, um, but I've kind of lined my bottom lip at the bottom, that's where it ends. 
and I'm just going to follow that along and then slightly overlying under. So like this. That's how I like it more or less. And now I'm going to slightly overline my bottom um, lip right here, not on the sides because otherwise we're going to look like a clown, just the bottom right here. If we do it on the sides, it's going to look like a massive like overline, it's just going to look clowny, so no. Um, this is how I like to do mine. So now that that's down, um, what I'm going to do is, this technique, you could just obviously like line your lips and then apply your lipstick or something. I don't have any bullet lipsticks, I only have liquid lipsticks right now, and glosses with lip liner. So that's what I'm going to show you. I genuinely like, I have this whole pack and I didn't think of bringing a lipstick. So that's that and that's all I can really show you for today. But today the technique that I'm kind of showing you is I'm going to drag this lip color, well the lip liner all the way like um to like the middle knee just kind of like the middle of my lip ex exposed so. i don't know if you can see that when i'm doing my lips i kind of like stretch my lips relax and stretch my lips relax and so like it's easier to move the product around get those lines and at the same time to see when I relax my lips see if anything's like wonky you'll, you'll start to get the feel around your lips if you do if you want to do this technique like overline them if not you can follow your natural lip line by no means you have to overline them the gloss I'm just going to apply the gloss and I'll show you a little trick of how not to get it all over the place um, but I'm using the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade um, 01. I think it's like glow or pink or something like that. I think it's just called pink. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I really like this. It does plump your lips. Um, it doesn't like leave them burning, but it has a slightly like tingly minty feeling, which I like. If you don't like that, then don't go for these. Um, I think Dior has like, you know, regular lip glosses that you can just get, but these are bomb. Like they won't hurt your lips. You know, the Too Faced Extreme Lip injection or something like that it doesn't do that it doesn't feel like that so yeah i really like um these like you know kind of like cool lip glosses and not too fresh i like it so i'm gonna apply it just at the bottom lip first and then the top but i'll show you a little trick how not to get it everywhere on the top and how not to get on your teeth so like that left and right kind of just blending the lip liner with the gloss and then with the side of the do Dufa, Dufa applicator, I think it's just called Dufa applicator, I kind of like angle it around my lip line, but not go over my lip line, just like behind it, so. Oops, there actually, I don't know where it is. See, like here you can still see my lip line, and then I'm just going to go under. If you go way too under, then you can see like, you know, the lip line and then the gloss, and then it's not like a pretty look. And then... And now for the top, without adding any more, we're gonna go close to the lip line. And notice I'm putting like you know my pinky here so I have more control and I'm just like no. <laughs> so again, angle the tip of the dofa <clears throat> sorry applicator and then just get as close as to the overlined lip line as you can get with the least amount of product so you don't have so much and it just goes onto your skin and it just gets all messy. Like and then just one little bit for just one little bit just for the middle and then again side to side just to blend the lip liner with the gloss. Okay, so that's how I like to do my lips when they're glossy. Sometimes I do more of a 90s like ombre lip type of thing, but, but this is essentially how I like to do my glossy lips. Now the trick to not get it on your teeth or anything, if it's more of a colored lip gloss and not as clear or pink like this, you can get away with this really easily. Um, I like to do is I just stick my index finger and obviously have your hands clean, no one's like dirty makeup hands, like clean your hands. 
and um, what I like to do is just stick my finger in the mouth and, like press over the finger and take it out and then you have like a ring of gloss around which is at the very rim of your mouth which tends to get on your teeth so you just do this and do you see this is even though it's clear gloss you can get away with it but it's still there so I just remove that and I move on with my day um, I'm gonna move on to liquid lipstick now okay so I've wiped um, my lip liner and lip gloss off as much as I could I still have like a demarcation okay I have like a bit of demarcation because I did get into like my skin since I overlined obviously it's gonna be on my skin so I've just gone over it with like the remainder of concealer and like you know foundation on my sponge and just slightly tapped it with the remainder of powder on my brush so now for um liquid lipstick what I like to do is I'm going to use the Kylie lip kit thingies today um they're different lip liner and like they're not from the same thing um this is charm liquid lipstick i think it's like velvet yeah velvet liquid lipstick lipstick and this is the kylie jenner candy k charm is like i have it but it's all the way at the bottom so i don't mind like combining and stuff for lip liner once again i do the same technique um, you know not that one <laughs> i need to sharpen it make sure it's um sharpened and not too blunt that it's just not gonna get any color on your skin um, i don't like it super super sharp because otherwise the tip breaks off and it's just a waste of product so i get it like semi sharp um but yeah same technique that i showed you just go slightly over the lip line and around the edges follow the lip line of the bottom lip and just overline at the bottom here just overline here and start joining and merging with your natural lip line over here just don't ever like you know overline these bits because it's just gonna make your lips look like you know duck lips so we don't really want that that's why i like to overline my lips i'm just gonna do that one more time right now um like as i normally do it without showing you how i do things that's as far as i like to go in with the lip liner when i'm doing liquid lipstick um like i said this one is candy cane kylie jenner lip liner and now for liquid lipstick it's the kylie velvet liquid lipstick in the shade charm and this is what i like to do with these um liquid lipsticks i also i always kind of like to like remove some excess not all of it um so i get some pigment onto my lips and i start with my bottom lip and then the top lip so i do essentially kind of like the same thing with the gloss it's just i make sure there's color everywhere <laughs> so and i do go over on top of the lip liner not like in, on the inside so i do go on top so there's like a nice blend between the two so and then the difficult part is to follow the lip liner on the overline because you also gotta do that one. So that's what I like to do for my lips with the liquid lipstick. Now, um, you can tell on this end, I have a little bit like a tip that I went right over my lip liner and I messed up. So what I like to do to clean that up, I like to grab my concealer palette. This is like cream concealer. I recommend using a little bit of a thicker concealer compared to like, um, you, you know, like the liquid um, concealers that you put under your eyes because it's like when it's around your lip line, it can bleed a little bit. It's a little bit messier. So these are harder to work with because they're thicker consistency around your lips. So. That's why I recommend these. <coughs> my voice is crying. <coughs> That's why I recommend these. So, um, yes, it's broken. It's part of the Revolution palette. I broke it like a week ago. It was an accident. It just snapped. Um, but it's a Revolution Ultra Cream Contour palette. I like to go in with this shade, the one that hit Pam, because that's like my shade. <laughs> and then I grab, um, this is actually the one brush that I use to carve my brows to clean them up. I also use it for around my lips. So what I'm going to do is I just grab a little tiny bit of product. And then um, I do the same thing as I would do with my brows. Just go over it. This is a little bit harder to show you. But I kind of just stretch my lip out a little bit and then go on top of it. Of the bump that shouldn't be there. I'm trying to show you as much as, much as I can without like, you know, <laughs> hiding it. 
and then whatever bit that I accidentally took off, I just go over it. Because like everyone does make mistakes, so just, you know, cleaning up, like, the bit of the edges that I'm like, okay, I need to even it out a little bit, so I just grab a tiny product, whatever, like, one stroke, and then, um, wh when I lift up my brush, I just wipe it on the back of my hand and grab a little bit more product, because if you go back in there, you're gonna get lipstick everywhere, you're essentially taking it off and adding concealer, so all of the remainder of the liquid lipstick would be here, so... Oh, wipe. The lips are done. Now, if you're worried that the conceal might bleed or something like that, then you just grab your powder brush or whatever you used to set your, like, your under eyes or your face. I would recommend a smaller brush, kind of like for your under eyes, so just go over it. And that's it for liquid lipstick. That's what I like to do. Um, and I'm about to show you kind of like a combination of the ombre lip and the lip gloss with the liquid lipstick that I like to do um, these days. It's kind of like also trending, so if you want to get that um, in an easier type of way and you don't want to do way too much. Just, just keep on okay, so now I've just applied the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. So how I like to do my long wearing kind of like ombre lip with a gloss on top it is a bit of product, so if you don't like a lot on your lips, I would re really recommend this technique to fit like this bit because it might feel uncomfortable, but if you want to try it and you've always liked it but have never known how to do it and um, you're just like a bit like, yeah, it might be a lot of product where I really want to try it and just try this, um, maybe it'll work for you. So for this technique, um, I don't do that much, um, essentially just because I, I, I feel like because my lipstick because my lipstick basically doesn't last the entire day really, only maybe some lipsticks do, uh, I just, you know, do my lip how I want it to look and whenever I start eating or something, I have to touch up a little bit but not too much. It is very long wearing but not like, like, everything proof, you know, oil proof, waterproof, like, kiss proof, like, it's just not and that's the reality of this, whenever you put gloss it's not going to be proof of anything. <laughs> This is gonna come off. If you leave liquid lipstick as it is, it could be really long wearing. Um, especially this one that I'm gonna show you. This is what I'm gonna do um, the on my lip with. But I do like these lipsticks a lot. They're affordable. Um, the texture might be a little bit thick or a lot for some people. But if you're looking for an affordable lip lip product like liquid lipstick, I like these. These are the Maybelline Super Stay um, liquid lipsticks. Um, matte ink liquid, liquid lipstick or something. I have a bunch of them. I really like the red one because it does stay put for the longest time. I go clubbing with that lipstick and it's still on by the end of this even though I'm drinking and you know like having fun and it just doesn't come off. Like as long as I'm not wearing a gloss we're good to go. We're Gucci. So I've got quite a few of these lipsticks and I love them. They're really good and they're really affordable so why the F not? So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm just going to grab um, this shade, this is the shade 05 Loyalist, yeah, Loyalist, and I'm just going to take the excess, like all of the excess off this, and then since I already have liquid lipstick on, I'm just going to hit the center of my lips, nowhere else, so, right here, just go in the center of my lips, like so, center again, don't really hit the lip line. And then that's, that's, that's it, you leave it, okay? So, I like to grab my finger and just slightly tap it over the edges. Get my finger. And that's kind of like a light ombre. Of course, there are like really intense ones. But yeah, now I'm gonna go in with the gloss. It's the same gloss that I used at the beginning of the video. It's the Dior Lip Maximizer. The O one one the the glow the pink I don't know which one it is and I just do the same thing mm. 
this is it this is what i like to do we've already cleaned it up it's just nice and tidy it's not an intense ombre because it is kind of like my everyday makeup and when i just want to have like a hint of that ombre this is what i like to do like i said you can do something more intense you can definitely do the other technique like i said with the lipstick and then apply the other um shade at the same time and then it dries and just blend it pat it with your finger you can do that too um personally i don't really do that um more because i don't like remember to do it <laughs> so this is what i like to do then again we have gloss but we have more color now so you can definitely see it so the finger thingy trick look how much come off this is why i do this but yeah um this is a look tutorial i really hope you got the most of it and i explained everything as well as i possibly could I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel for more. There's an entire series of this how-to series. This isn't the only video. Um, I'm going to keep on doing them and get into my more complicated makeup bits. I'm just going through, like, you know, bits of the face at a time. So it's not, like, a one, like, massive, like, probably, like, what, 15 hour long video. <laughs> no, not really. But still, um, there's an entire playlist. So if you want to check them all out and like you know find something you can look for those in the playlist at the end of the screen and then um if i haven't put something that you're looking for just leave it in the comments and say hey um could you do a tutorial on this i'll definitely do it a hundred percent it doesn't matter what it is or if a lot of people want it or not i'll definitely do it if you want to suggest something i'm gonna do it so yeah um thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more how-to videos in this series and yeah uh, i'll see you in my next video bye